Hey, what's up guys? We're just at one of our switchyards here right now. We're inside the building and someone was asking about uh, patrolling the lines. And I mentioned that we do get some information to help us find the fault. We don't necessarily have to always patrol the entire line. One of the pieces of equipment we use on transmission lines here, this is a 138 kV line. So on this panel here, we've, we've got our line number, so line 1148, and on this panel, just this simple screen read here, we can see current on A, B, and C phase is all up over 500 amps. Uh, it's fairly high. If, if there's ever a fault, this line trips out. This is the first screen I'll look at, and you can see fault type A, B, C phase, and ground. So if a branch comes across two phases, It'll, it'll simply light up A and B. Um, even if there's no neutral or ground on the transmission structure, if there's a tree that's on the ground that makes contact with one phase, it might light up one of the two outside phases, A and C, and the ground, of course, it could always be B phase if there's a transposition on the lines, which there definitely are. Um, also, we'll have our meter metering uh, events. Sorry, you go into your events if something's lit up here. And you can actually scroll through and see what the event was. It could be an instantaneous trip. Maybe it'll say 2,000 amps on IA, so A phase current 2,000 amps, and then show the ground. And then, of course, we have our zones, so in one, two, three, and four. So if there's a hundred structures out on the on the transmission line, the fault shows in zone two, then it's a pretty good indication that the fault is located between structure. 25 and 50 for example. Zone 4 might be between structures 75 and 100. When I call the power system operator they can do a system analysis. This, this is stuff that's, that's way outside of my job scope but it, it is information that's accessible. Um, sorry to digress there a bit but the, uh, the system operator might come back and say zone 4 it's showing that there is a phase-to-phase -phase fault at structure 80. So if so it can cut down patrol times quite a bit rather than starting at structure one, especially when you're out in the, the woods on an all-terrain vehicle. It can take a full day to patrol. We'll head straight to that structure that's predicting the fault. And a lot of times the fault can be quite obvious. We can clear the fault and re-energize the line without having to patrol the entire line. 